joined by none other than the dynamic, beautiful woman that she is, the lovely and talented Michelle Sangara. How are you, sweetheart? I am doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. Why am I fantastic? Because you're in the house. We got you're yes. here. Yes. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about uh, a couple of things. Uh, the, ga uh, the game, which is your showcase game that you're putting on. But first, we're going to talk about Chasing Hope. Now, uh, Chase Claypool, of course, for those unbeknownst who've been living under a rock for the past few years, did all his football in Abbotsford, gets a scholarship to go to Notre Dame, crushes it, and then gets drafted by the Pittsburgh, Pengu uh, Pittsburgh, Penguins. Pittsburgh Steelers football yes. team, yeah. wide receiver, had a great season last year. Uh, is doing probably just a solid this year. But uh, tragedy star struck Chase when he was quite young. His sister committed suicide and it affected him deeply. And that's where Shell comes in with the Chasing Hope charity. So I want you to take it from there. So Chase has been um, a player with the BCCFA, um, the VCFL, and Abbotsford Falcons for um, seven years. And when this did happen, he was in JB. And his sister did commit suicide at that time. It was a very, very um, different year for him. JB was, you know, a struggling year. Um, he did change. Um, he did continue with football. So he, when she passed away, he continued with football. Um, the football community surrounded him with love and support. Um, the pastor at her, his sister's funeral was from a football. Oh, okay. It was a football dad from a, one of the members of his team. So um, everyone, you know, circled around Chase um, through these struggling times. Obviously, when you go through something like suicide in your family and you're affected by it, it, it changes your way of thinking. Um, it challenges you. You have to go through these years of adversity, definitely. Yeah. So Chase did, as he got older, he did get a tattoo um, put on his arm for his sister. This is very passionate for his mother. And um, so this is what they are starting together to raise money. And what we are doing is... We are in the process now. We've raised enough money for BCCFA to implement suicide awareness amongst all our teams in BC. Okay. And so in every club in BCCFA that we have an ambassador who stepped up will be going through a training program, and they will be the on-site person to help guide anybody who's struggling on field, whether it be at practice, after games, a child. There'll be somebody who's there who's an ambassador for suicide awareness. Okay. So that's the coin. So hold the coin the up. Coins. Let's get a little close up on that. Yeah. Now the inscription's on the back, so why don't you read the inscription? So Chase's tattoo that he wears on for his sister on his arm is be the be the change. And so this coin, it has a thousand words won't bring you back, I know, because I tried. Neither will a thousand tears, I know, because I've cried until we meet again. So the whole point of the coin is um, we all love our children. We all support our players, our own children within our home. And um, loving them and saying I love you and I'm here for you, sometimes that's not enough, especially when somebody is struggling. So um, a coin. A coin is something that you have that you can give to somebody that you know is struggling with mental health or suicide awareness. Even in good times, if you have somebody that you want to give hope to, that you want to make sure that you know they're on the right path or you want them to know that you're there for them. A coin is a beautiful thing. Um, it's actually a beautiful coin. That's it's really a beautiful nice. coin, and it has it. It says Chasing Hope here. Together we can change lives. And it's a beautiful okay. gift, and um, we sell them. Okay. And, and, the, and the money and the proceeds from the, the coin actually goes back to paying for the program for BCCFA. Okay. So we so, have now... Sorry, how do you get the coin? Like, who do you talk to? So right now, you can, co you can either email the BCCFA or myself. Perfect, okay. And uh, you can get the coin. And, and what's a coin cost? Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks for the coin. Yeah, I said, well, you know, it's going to a, a brilliant cause, right? So that's well, that's wonderful. Right, and so the coin was actually made by Baron Rings, yeah. and they have a program that's Leave No One Behind, where they give rings to children who can't afford them. So oh. a little bit of the proceeds will also go to Baron Rings, okay. because they partnered with us, and they're a great sponsor for BCCFA. They certainly are. Oh, well, yeah. thank you very much. Okay, so now is there a website for this, Chasing Hope? Um, there is one in the works, so we're just working sure. on all of that. But goes to the BCCFA website, and you can get all the links. Yeah. All the okay, perfect. Now, uh, thank you very much for that. It's very touching. Um, I've heard that story about Jason, and 
Gets you. Anyway, uh, the game. You have a showcase game that you're putting on, so give us a few details on that. So we're having a game. Obviously, the journey of Chase Claypool is one that's personal to me, and not many kids from BC get to go to the NFL. Not too many. So I think there's one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't and so I got to watch the journey of Chase Claypool. I do get to watch the journey of many players across Canada, which is awesome. But this one was right in front of my eyes. My husband coached him. You know, he was playing for me when I was president and managers and whatnot so this journey is one that I can actually you know speak about so the first game that we do is going to be for Chase Claypool we, we hope to dedicate the games to more players as they go throughout the years and have more teams named after players that are playing at CFL University and NFL but this game will be May 28th okay. here in Chilliwack and we're gonna start tryouts in February and it's gonna be the BC Steelers versus the BC Fighting Irish and Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And so we have six teams, you know, three levels, six teams that we're going to have kids, 70 kids per level. Okay. So we're going to be announcing trials everywhere. You know me, I put it everywhere. So this and this is this is a showcase game. So this is the kind of game that a kid plays with when he wants gets noticed by the scouts to go to either BC Junior or U Sport or their university. Right. right. So, yeah. so the kids come, they try out. Um, we give them a big platform. That's something that I love doing for them. Sure. Um, the coaches there want to showcase them in the positions that they do well at. Right. Okay. So, you know, we, we're here to make them look good. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Let's wrap up. Thank you very much, uh, Shell, for that. That's wonderful. So, BC, uh, BC CFA website for both the Chasing Hope and for the game. I'm taking it right. You can yep. find. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm Tim Amy. Shell Sangara. Giants Blitz, uh, last one of the season. So thank you very much for tuning in all season. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I apologize for taking so long to get this lovely woman on. So anyway. Go Giants. Go Giants. Thank you very much. Cheers.